Hi, if you're a window shop and wish to secure your critical business objects, for instance, a critical file or folder, and track it down to know who's accessing or modifying or deleting them, then you need to audit user access events of an object. In this video, we're going to see how to enable auditing for object access in Windows client OSs, such as XP, Vista, and 7. If you are looking for setting up the Global Object Access Audit Policy for Windows Server 2008 R2 machine, watch our video on how to configure auditing in Domain Controller Security Policy at our website. First, for setting up Windows Auditing in Windows XP, Vista and 7 machines, you need to activate audits for successful and failure object access attempts via the local security policy settings. Open Control Panel, Administrative Tools, Local Security Policy. Click on Local Policy in the left pane. Now click on Audit Policy. You'll now need to activate the Object Access Auditing by double-clicking on the Audit Object Access. This will pop up the Properties window. Enable the Success and Failure checkboxes and then click on Apply and then OK. This setting will now help you audit both the successful and unsuccessful access to the objects. You can also enable auditing for either successful or unsuccessful accesses alone by checking the appropriate checkboxes. For this video, I have enabled auditing for both successful and unsuccessful access. In case you have enabled the Domain Controller Audit Policy, then it will override this local audit policy. We've now enabled Object Access Auditing for Windows 7 machine. You can also audit specific files, folders, or printers. All you need to do is locate the files or folders in Windows Explorer. And for printers, locate them at the Start, Control Panel, Devices and Printers option. Right-click on the folder or file or printer and then choose the Properties option. Navigate to the Security tab and then click on Advanced option. Now click on the Auditing tab and click on Edit and then Add option. You will now get the Select User, Computer, Service Account or Group dialog box. Specify the object name in this field. You can type the name of the user or group whose access is to be audited. If you need to browse and locate the user or group, click on Advanced option, and then click on the Find Now option in Select User or Group dialog box. Click OK after specifying the user or group. now have the Auditing Entry for your folder dialog window. Select the Successful and Failed checkboxes for the actions you want to audit, and then click OK. You can select the actions as per your requirement. For this video, I have selected Create, Delete, and Modify Attributes for Auditing. If you select Full Control Access for auditing in large file systems, then it will generate a huge amount of log data, and it also affects the server performance. Therefore, you have to be cautious in selecting the access attributes for your auditing. When you are done with selecting the actions, click on OK. Now we have configured the Object Access Auditing in Windows 7 and enabled auditing for a specific folder. Once you have configured the Object Access Auditing in your Windows host, Manage Engine's Event Log Analyzer will automatically collect all these audit logs and provide you an option to generate reports and trigger alerts. For further questions and clarifications, feel free to contact our support team. To watch more how-to videos, visit our website. Thanks for watching.